Come on, Ali, keep up. Can I go and cuddle? Not just yet, sweetheart. Good girl. Look at the sea! How about over there? Yeah, that looks great. Yeah, okay. okay we're nearly there. Oh, you are getting heavy, Shawnee. Oh, Woo! there we go. Not yet, darling. Right, let's have a picture. Okay, everyone, look at me. Ready? Smile. Hey. Mwah. Come on, Ali, don't sulk. That's it. <laughs> Oh, Bubba. Come here, darling. Come and show me what you've got. OK. Who, who would like an ice cream? Do you want one, Jazz? Ali! Oh, she's sulking. I'll leave it with you. Ice cream? Uh, yeah, whatever, yeah. Yep. All ready? Come on, then. <sighs> OK. We're going to find a chocolate. Okay, one zoom and a oh, fab for Ali. What do you mean, Ali's with you? I left her with you. No, you called her over. No, and she didn't want to come, so I said, was it okay to leave her with you? And you said, yeah. No, I said yes to an ice cream. Well, she can't have gone far. I mean, you've only been gone a couple of minutes. Ali! Could she have gone for a paddle? Well, maybe, but I mean, it's not like her. Ali! Look, I'll go down there. Ali! Ali! After my children a minute, I've just lost my little girl. Ali! 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 Hey, this, do you need some help, mate? I've lost my daughter. Okay, I'm pushing in the water. Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm not sure. Can she swim? No. Um, no, but she might be on the beach. Right, okay, listen, don't worry about it. We'll find out. But when did you last see her? I saw her out there somewhere. Okay. And what's she look like? Um, she's she's a she's a little girl. She's nearly four. She's a dark hair. She's a pretty little girl. Okay. Uh, central section. We got a missing girl. Ellie! Urgent assistance required, please. Ellie! Sleep well? Yeah, great, thanks. Oh, Jazz, your hair looks so much better like that, darling. Think so. Yeah, it really suits the shape of your face. Good for your skin too. Keep it off the face. Morning. Hi. Hi, Dad. Hi, lovey. Yes. Bad night again. I'm fine. Maybe you should speak to Dr. Meath. This time of year is always bad. David, I'm fine. I've got the interview this afternoon. Oh, yeah. I forgot about the interview. No, I'm just a bit nervous about it, okay? Toast, Jazz, or cereal? Toast, please. David? No, I'm fine with this. Bikini diet. Anyway, I've got to go. Well, what time will you be back? Well, I'm late tonight. I've got that dinner meeting, remember? Oh, yeah, right. But, um, good luck today. Thank you. Bye, Lovie. Bye, Dad. Bye, Lord. Mum? Hmm? On Saturday, when we go shopping for my birthday... Yeah? You said I could bring someone. Could I take Ems? Oh, yes, of course. 
Well, hang on a minute. Isn't Em's the one that didn't invite you to her party? Well, yeah, but... Listen, I'm sure she's lovely. What time is it? Time you shave that thing off your lip, trust me. Bye. Bye, darling. See ya. Bye, have a good day. And good luck for today. Thank you. You might be a bit old for this now, Alice, but, hey. I don't want you to be under any illusions about the work that we do here, Sarah. It can be very satisfying, very rewarding, but it can also be very hard. Progress is painfully slow and, well, it takes a certain sort of person to be able to cope with that. And how many people are you seeing? People aren't queuing up to do this. You're more than qualified. If you want the job, it's yours. What time are we meeting tonight? Eight, if that's okay. Fine. Look, I know it's going to be deathly dull, but um, it would really help me you being here. Ah, oh, that's my job, isn't it? I'm looking forward to it. Hello. So, I am now a working woman again. When do you start? A month. Right. Well, you could sound a little bit more enthusiastic. Talk about it later, okay? It's not a discussion, David. I'm doing it. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm just checking out the town, having a bit of a wonder. I'll be back about four. Well, I'll see you later then. David, I don't know why you're being so
Very You off, guys? Yep, yeah, we're off, yeah. Listen, thanks for coming, Peter. I thought I was really productive. Yes. Speak next week, yeah? Yes, we will indeed. Um, and a word of advice. I'd hold on to this one if I were you, David. A very capable young lady. Well, I intend to. <laughs> That's different. Thanks, David. Speak soon. Yep. Speak then. Christ, I hate it when men call women ladies. Yeah. If only they knew. <laughs> Listen, thank you for tonight. You were a star. Oh, I enjoyed it. You need a cab, don't you? Uh, did you mean now, or did you want to have another drink? Uh, I'd better make tracks, actually. Hey, uh. Hi. How was your meeting? Yeah, it was good. I think we're going to get that contract. Great. Jesus. What happened? I tripped when I was getting out of the car. You tripped? Well, yeah, I got the handle of my bag caught and I tripped. I must have looked like a complete idiot. <laughs> right. Anyway, it's not as bad as it looks. Do you want a cup of tea? You're not up to this. Not up to what? A 40 mile round trip, three days a week. You're not a child, David. I didn't say you were. Well, you were treating me like one. I think I'm perfectly capable of making a decision about whether I'm up to it on my own. Really? Yes. Did you have a drink, sir? No. Sarah, it... My God, you think I was pissed? Were you? I tripped. It was an accident. Look, I wouldn't blame you. I, I know it never... David, my problems in the past were a fairly understandable reaction to a major fucking tragedy in our lives. Personally, I think you'd have to be insane not to have gone a bit mad. But this is now. And this is me getting a job. And how you connect that to the past, I really don't know. You don't see how getting an unbelievably demanding, unpaid job in one of the saddest schools in the country is connected to the past? No, I don't. Well, then you really are losing it, Sarah. Oh, for goodness. You're punishing yourself! Eleven years on, and you're still punishing yourself. Why can't you just be happy with what we do have? A lovely home, two beautiful children. Isn't that enough for you? Love you. Love you too. Have a good day. See you later. You, um... You will think about what we discussed, won't you? I said I would, didn't I? Listen, thanks for taking the kids. I'm just feeling a bit... <sighs> Look, it's no problem. It's your decision. Of course it is. I, I just want to help you make the right one. I know, I know. I'll try and get back early, OK? All right, you two, just... Just jump in the back, come on. Just get in. Just get in. Feeling better today, Mr. Super? I helped you yesterday when you fainted. Yeah, I'm feeling much better today, thank you. Good. Have a nice day. Yeah, and you.
Ali. Oi! You got a fucking problem? God, I'm really sorry. I thought you were someone else. Well, I ain't, am I? All right, Melanie, that's enough. There's a misunderstanding. Now go home. Piss off, Postman Pat. <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe it's time you went home too. Yeah, maybe it is. Time for bed, please, Jazz. Mum? Yes? Tomorrow, Emma thinks it might be a 
better idea to go to Covent Garden, not oh, Oxford Street. Does she? So could we go there instead? Well, if that's what you want, sweetheart. Yeah. Then that's fine. Oh. I like baby. Sleep well. Night, Dad. Night, lovey. Sean asleep. Okay. Listen, David. Forget the job. If that's what we're waiting to discuss, then forget it. It's not important. Because something's happened, David. Something extraordinary. What? Something? I've seen Alice. I've seen her twice now. First yesterday, just after I spoke to you, I caught a glimpse of her, and then again today. And today, I stood next to her for 10 or 15 minutes on a bus, and then I followed her home, and it was her. It is her, David. It's, I saw our baby. And she has your laugh, David. It's the weirdest thing. It's exactly the same as yours and your dad's. It was her. I know it. Hmm. Like you knew the last time. And the time before that. This is different. Why? I don't know, okay? I just... I know that it is. Our daughter drowned, sir. Alice drowned 11 years ago. You didn't see her today. You won't ever see her again. Our daughter is dead. I saw her. I saw her. Have a nice time. See you in a bit. Bye. Hiya. Lucy. Hi. Lucy. We've got a bit of a problem, I'm afraid. What's up? Sarah's not here to take them. Come on, slow coach. No, don't be scared, darling. That's... Oh, come on, love. Excuse me, can I help you? That's my daughter. What? It's my daughter, Ali. No, no, no. She's not your daughter, love. No, it is. Come on, baby. No, she's not I, your I daughter. I can't take you home. You what? Get in the van. Come on, baby. No, no, no Ali. Lock the door, please. No, that's my daughter. Just get in the van and lock the door. Lock the door, eh? That is not your daughter, all right? Is it you? Get away from here. Was it you? What? You took her. What are you talking about, you nut? You bastard! Get away! You! you! my eldest daughter 11 years ago. I'm so sorry. She was nearly four and it was on a beach. And they said she drowned. Except they never found her body. And something in me, I don't know why, 
told me that she was alive, you know, that she, she hadn't drowned, that she'd been taken, stolen from us. And that's never gone away. I mean, I wish it had, you know, I wish I could have gone with my life, but I can't. And I've seen girls before that I thought might be her, you know, thought. But that girl, oh my God. I was so sure. Why? What was it? Do you have children? Little boy. <laughs> How old? Nearly four. And what's his name? Jamie. Do you think that you could ever not recognize Jamie? Do you think you could ever look into your child's eyes and not know that he was yours? Right then. I've spoken to Mr. Taylor, and I've explained that you've been under a lot of uh, well, emotional stress recently. And to be honest with you, Mrs. Hooper has been very understanding about it. Bottom line is, he's happy for me to offer you a caution. Right. And if you did bother them again, though, you would be charged. Okay. Yes. Okay. You you do understand them. Yes. Fine. Well, I'll uh, I'll get the paperwork sorted then. They never found the little girl's body. Did she? Well, sometimes they wash up, sometimes they don't. It's a tragic accident, so nothing more. Speak to someone, sir. You need to get some help. And I, I will support you in whatever way you want, but you need to get some help because I can't deal with this anymore. I won't deal with it. It's just not fair on the kids. Courtesy call, really, just to let you know what happened with the woman and to see how you were, how Laurie was. Must have been very upsetting for you both. Oh, yeah, it was, but uh, Laurie's a tough old cookie, you know. Right. Is she in or? No, she's out with her mum. Right. Is that your wife? Jo, yeah, that's her. And uh, that's Laurie when she was about six months old. Nice place. Thanks, yeah. Small, but no, you know. So, anyway, just to confirm, the lady accepted a caution and she knows that she'd be in serious trouble if she came out here again. So, we feel pretty confident that this won't go any further. All right, OK. Your colleague told me what happened to the woman and um, I feel more sorry for her than anything else, you know? Yes. It's a very sad situation. Yeah, I couldn't imagine anything worse, really, could you? I think I'd top myself if I lost Laurie. Well, we should count our blessings, shouldn't we? Mm. I'll leave you in peace, Mr. Taylor. Yeah. Sally. Hi, Laurie. Um, Mum, this is Sally. She was one of the officers here this morning. 
Hi. Thanks for this morning. Lol said you was very sweet to her. Oh, no problem. I just saw your husband. Wanted to check they were both okay. Yeah, they're both they're both fine, thanks. So you've been shopping then? <laughs> Bleeding me dry. Yeah, I've got teenage nieces. I know what it's like. Hey, that's that's not from this morning, is it? She didn't hurt you, did she? Oh. 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 No, it's a late birthday present. It's my 16th last week. I'm oh, sorry? It's a tattoo. You're joking. <laughs> been badgering mum for months. Well, you know, you know what they're like. I thought it was a losing battle, but she finally caved in today. But after this morning, I thought she deserved a bit of a treat, you know. Yeah, fair enough. Anyway, we'd better get going. It's nice to meet you. You too. Bye. Bye now. Bye. You all right? Yeah, come on. Come on. No, she's really nice, yeah. And she, she must be knackered, bless her. Didn't think it'd get to me. It wasn't even there, but it affects you, doesn't it? Forget about it. Come on, it's history. Millionaires on. Come on. What? What's that for? That's for nothing, so watch your step. Oh. Yeah. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. And, and I'll make it up to you, OK? I promise. You forgive me? Of course. Mm, well, thank you. And I like my darling. I love you. You too. Mum? Yeah? Why aren't there any pictures of her? Of who? Alice. Well, there were, for a long time. And then your dad decided that maybe it was a bad idea to be reminded every day. Don't the gaps remind you more? <sighs> it's time for sleep, sweetie. Louise Farley told me her mum said that your first child is always special to you. Different to the ones that follow. Oh, my darling. Come here. It's OK. Shh. You love them all the same. God, I promise. The first to go in the rolling start with a big class one and two machines. The second heat would also be for points in the world championship. In the first race, though, English driver Clark in his aluminium catamaran. Listen, David. I'll see someone. Anyone you want. I don't want to lose this. And I don't want to lose you. Hello. Mr. Hooper, hi, it's DS Bridges. I interviewed your wife earlier today. Uh, yeah, yeah, hello. Hi, I'm, I'm sorry to disturb you so late. I was just wondering... Could I have a quick word with her? Uh, sure. It's the policewoman from this morning. Hello. Sarah, hi. Uh, look, this is almost certainly nothing. I just wanted to ask you something about Alice. Well, go on. Does she have any distinguishing... Marks on her body, any moles or scars or birthmarks, anything like that? Um, well, she had a small scar on her knee. She banged it on the steps once when we went swimming. Right, OK. Is there anything else you can remember? Yeah, she, she had a, a birthmark on her arm. A birthmark? Yeah, just a small one. About the size of a 20p piece. Uh, which arm? Her left one. 
about where the TB jab would be. Why? Birth certificate, or her hospital book, or health records, or NI card. You're winding me up, surely. I mean, if we'd have known this was going to happen, we'd have pressed bloody charges, love. I know, it's a pain. It's, it's just procedural. I mean, any of them will do. Well, I've no idea where they are. Oh, they're all packed away somewhere. Yeah. So. Right. But you have got them. Well, of course I've got them. Of course she's got them. What is this? You told me yesterday this was finished, so what's changed? As I say, it's just belt and braces. So if you could dig them out, it'd make my life a lot easier. <sighs> Go and get him, Joe, love, please. I want her out of here. Please, Joe. Fine, fine. This is ridiculous. Jesus! Yeah, no, you're going to have to come back, because like I said, I've got no idea where they are, so I'm going to have to find them, aren't I? Right, right. Well, it's not a huge flat, Joe. Do you want to have a quick look now? I don't mind waiting. <laughs> well, I do, so no. I don't want to have a quick look now. Look, love, um, have you got any legal right to be doing this? No. Not yet, anyway. What do you mean, not yet? Well, obviously, it would worry us if you couldn't provide any of these documents. And then we, we'd be asking you to come and have a chat with us. And then I think we'd be talking about DNA tests. DNA tests? You are joking! But if you just show us the documents... Listen to me! There's no way we are going to be doing DNA tests because some mentally unbalanced woman reckons our daughter is hers, OK? And I'll tell you this much, there's no way on God's earth I'm going to put Laurie through that, you understand? How do you feel about that, Joanna? Well, she feels the same as me, doesn't she? Tell her, Joe, you feel the same. Yeah. Joe, love, tell her you feel the same. Joe, please tell her. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> What have you got to be sorry for? <laughs> Sal, spoke to customs. Stephen Taylor's dates check out. I was working in the mine from 94 to September 96. Unless it's the world's greatest actor, I don't think you knew anything about this. Oh, what a mess. I've been trying for a baby for a couple of years. But it, it just wasn't happening. And, um, this bloke I was with it was a right bastard. It made me feel really bad about it. And then he left me. I went off with a mate of mine, and six weeks later I heard that she was pregnant. I started drinking more heavily, losing whole days. And eventually, I just decided I couldn't stand being alive anymore. I was just so... unhappy. So one day, I drove to the nearest beach from where I was living. I can't swim, and... Um, I know it's not such a bad way to go. When I got there, it was packed. A bank holiday. And I was sat there <laughs> crying to myself, thinking I can't even top myself properly. <laughs> and I saw this little girl. And her face was all scrunched up. And upset. I watched her. I don't know, it seemed like ages. And no one came to her. No one came to comfort her. Eventually, I walked over. to what the matter was. And she said, oh, Mummy and Daddy didn't love her no more since they'd had the baby. I asked her if she wanted an ice cream to cheer up. She did. 
And so I took her. I didn't know what I was going to do. But I, I do remember I felt surprised when I was outside my flat and she was still next to me in the car asleep. I carried her in, put her to bed and I locked the door. I didn't come out for a month, except to buy the food from the corner shop. She stopped asking about her mummy and daddy after about six months. I met Steve about a year later. Told him she was mine. He had no reason to doubt it because well, we were so close. What about the photos of her as a baby? It's a friend's baby. Take before I met Steve. They all look, they all look similar at that age, don't they? I, I am truly sorry for what I did to her family. Really. <laughs> but no one could have loved Laurie more than me. Joanna Taylor is about to undergo a formal interview under caution. But just over an hour ago, she told us that in 1996, a year before she met Stephen Taylor, she abducted a four-year-old child from a beach. And that child is Laurie. She's my daughter, and that woman's just admitted it. We have to do a blood test. You just can't answer. Come, come on. on. Of course you'll come and live with us, darling. I mean, she's your sister. Welcome home, Melly. I therefore sentence you to the term of five years in prison. <laughs> Listen, I had one sip, and then I realized it was a mistake. I'm just struggling to work out how you managed to miss our house being crashed, <clears throat> our daughter taking drugs. You will not destroy our family. I swear. Please, please don't take her away from me.